Hey guys, um, I want today to try to do a little bit of justice to the topic of um, degreeing the cam. Uh, hopefully I don't do more harm than good. But um, I wanted to try to tackle this with a VW engine as I see a lot of non-VW engines and camshaft to green how-to videos uh, but very little if anything is out there or at least that I've seen um, for VWs so in the interest of doing that um, I've got my 2332 here today um, I've got it uh, assembled up to the point of the case halves being bolted together the rear crank pulley being on it, the flywheel, um, and the number one piston and cylinder. And I've got my dial indicator uh, sitting on, this is just a cheapy Harbor Freight indicator, um, sitting on top of a deck plate, or deck height measuring tool plate. And the number one piston is as best as I can get it positioned at top dead center. You can see it in the shot there, the piston itself. Um, anyway, and I've got this sort of hokey pushrod tube slash pushrod setup. And um, I've got two sample push rods inserted in the number one uh, intake and exhaust position. So right now, as you can see, the dial indicator face is set to zero. That's my starting point. And the, again, the piston is at top dead center. And the crank pulley is more or less reflecting that you can see the TD I don't know if you can see it the TDC mark aligns with the case half split um, that's less important more important is that you've used the dial indicator to determine your true top dead center that the vehicle get by uh, and then on the cam card here uh, by the way this is an Engle FK46 cam going into my 2332 we're showing a total valve lift, uh, assuming 1.4 rockers are used, which I plan to do, of 0.573 inch. That's a little, you know, almost 0.6 inches. Uh, the intake is supposed to open at 28 degrees before top dead center. And the intake will close at 64 degrees after bottom dead center um, the gross cam lift is 0 0.409 inches and in duration measured at 0 0.050 inches checking clearance is 272 degrees so without further ado let me start uh, the process the, the way to degree these things at least that I'm of the understanding is you position the engine at top dead center as we've attempted to do here and then you rotate uh, the engine you zero out the dial indicator once you've got top dead center you rotate the engine around until you see the um, pushrod rise 0 0.050 that's your arbitrary checking clearance and so I'm going to let you guys watch. I'm rotating the engine here. And what we want to do is once we hit 0 0.05 inches of uh, lift, we want to take the degree reading off the crank pulley and verify it against the, what's specified on the cam card. So here we go. We're coming up to 0 0.050 inches. Now let's go look at our crank pulley all right got a bit of a tight quarter in here and i do apologize for that um anyway what i'm seeing here and i'm trying to get it into the frame is that i've got about 0 0.2 0 0.2 
I'm sorry, 27 degrees uh, on the pulley face. And I should really be using a pointer, but I'm using my finger as the pointer. So, LOL. Um, comparing what I'm seeing there, 27 degrees, and that is before top dead center, the engine rotates clockwise. 27 degrees that is within one degree of what the cam card says it calls for 28 degrees okay so we're just gonna do the intake here the exhaust would follow a similar practice but uh, next to get the um, we're gonna compare the intake closes figure on the cam card to get that we're going to continue rotating the engine let it go all the way around until the uh, cam uh, peak, the toe, I guess you call it, of the cam is uh, reached. And you'll see the indicator start to reverse directions as soon as we round that peak on the cam lobe. Okay, getting there. Alright, so here we go. We're coming back now. We're coming down the other, other side of the ramp on the cam. And keep going down we're gonna go all the way down and we're gonna bring it back to 0 0.050 to get the other end of the cam and take the degree reading off the crank pulley so we're still coming down coming down coming down all right looks like we hit the bottom there now let's go back 0 0.050 degrees Rotate it back. I'm oh, sorry, 0 0.050 inches. I'll, I'll keep my inches and degrees separate at one point or another. Anyway, so there we have 0 0.050. That's the other side of the cam ramp, the lobe ramp. Let's look at our crank pulley. Compare it to the cam card, okay? On the crank pulley, again, I should be, but am not using a metallic puller I'm using our pointer I'm using my finger that is roughly point or sorry roughly 64 degrees uh, after bottom dead center okay 64 degrees comparing that to the cam card that matches perfectly 64 degrees after bottom dead center the intake is um within 0 0.050 inches of being closed so this is the 0 0.050 0 0.050 method of checking and as i said i saw uh 27 degrees uh intake opens and 64 intake closes that is within the margin of error if you um if you add those figures 28 plus 64 plus 180 you'll come up to within one degree of the 272 duration at 0 0.050 the cam card calls for so we're looking good using this engel fk46 cam let me know in the question or comments if you have any questions or uh, feedback. And I apologize for this being amateurish. Uh, but again, this was done in the spirit of uh, helping other Volkswagen owners who might look, be looking to degree their cam to verify that what lift and duration the cam card calls for is actually what they're getting so they can maximize their performance. So I hope this has been helpful in that regard. And appreciate you guys. Thanks for uh, subbing. Tell your friends about this channel. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you would. And look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Take care everyone. God bless and have a great day. Hey guys, I almost forgot. Um, I should have checked and will do so now. That I'm getting the um, at or near the lift called for on the cam card it calls for 0 0.409 inches of lift uh, this is without the ratio rockers with 1.4 rockers it's 
it should go up to 0.573 but let's check our lift at the um at the cam we should be getting somewhere around 0 0.409 inches so what we're going to do is we've got the engine back at top dead center let's start rotating it and let's see if this dial indicator makes four complete cycles plus a little bit of another see what we got here we're still rotating there it goes one that's 0 0.100 0 0.200 0 0.300 0.400 coming up on all right 0.4 what do we got what we got all right uh looks like about 0 0.404 and i apologize for the blurry camera i'm still using this cheap camera and hopefully you can see that but it's around 0 0.404 uh, which I'm not gonna split hairs about um, because I've got the uh, CB 1.4 rockers and those are known for being 1.4 plus so I'm sure I'm going to get the specified cam lift it's looking good here the lift at the cam itself so with that I'll wrap it up thanks you guys have a great day God bless